Hello everybody, hope you're all fighting fit and well. And Mum is going to read a story called The Ants and the Treasure. Mm. Here we go. In a village in Africa, there lived a poor man who was very kind to animals and birds. He grew a little food which he shared with his parrot and every morning he sprinkled some crumbs outside for the ants. The ants were grateful and showed their thanks by not eating anything in the poor man's vegetable patch. On the other side of the village lived a miser who'd collected a large pile of gold coins by tricking people out of their money. He kept his hoard of treasure in a hut which he guarded day and night. The miser was selfish and cruel. He threw stones at any animals or birds who came near his hut and crushed ants beneath his feet. The ants tried to think of a way to punish the cruel miser. Isn't it a pity that the man who is our friend is so poor and the man who is our enemy is so rich, said their king. This gave the ants an idea. They dug a tunnel between the miser's hut and the poor man's house. Then they carried some gold coins along the tunnel and left them by the poor man's bed. The poor man was amazed when he woke up and found a heap of gold glittering on the floor. This must be a gift from the gods, he thought happily, and he put the coins under his bed. Meanwhile, the miser was alarmed to discover that some of his treasure was missing. He couldn't understand how anyone could have entered the hut while he'd been keeping watch. That night, the ants carried more gold coins along the tunnel to the poor man's house. As there was no more room under the bed, the poor man covered the pile of coins with a cloth. The miser was angry to discover that more of his treasure was gone, but still he had no idea what had happened. On the third night, the ants carried all the remaining coins to the poor man's house. As before, he thanked the gods and covered the coins with the cloth. The miser shouted with rage when he found the hut was empty. His neighbours came to see what was wrong. There must be magic at work, they said when they heard what had happened. But when the miser searched the hut, he found the tunnel. Aha, he cried. If we find the other end of this tunnel, we'll have the thief. Everyone in the village joined in the search. Before long, the other end of the tunnel was found in the poor man's house along with the gold coins beneath the cloth. I'm not a thief, protested the poor man. I thought this treasure was a gift from the gods. How could I crawl through a tiny tunnel like that? You must have made yourself small with magic, said the miser. The villagers locked the poor man in a hut. We'll decide your punishment tomorrow, they said. The ants were upset that their plan had caused such trouble. The king called for all his people to help rescue their friend. Thousands and thousands of ants arrived and while the villagers slept, they ate the whole hut, roof, walls and door. In the morning, the villagers looked at the remains of the hut and shook their heads. The gods must have decided this punishment, they said. Ants have eaten the hut and the prisoner. The ants smiled to themselves. Only they knew that their friend had escaped from the hut, fetched his parrot and the gold still beneath his bed and walked away from the village to start a new life. Good night everybody, sleep well. Bye.